All right, so here we go. Paul Marquez won the lag, so he gets the break first. And what happened to Owens? It's down there. Okay. I noticed they were hanging around the light, which seems to work having that number on there because the hook on this table actually busted off yeah. a few months ago. Oh. And haven't got around to replacing that yet. <coughs> yeah, he... Uh, Ramil, Will was already bragging about uh, the party he's going to have at your house. <laughs> for the yeah. uh, Thanksgiving for tournament. For Thanksgiving, yeah. He said he was going to bring a 30-pound turkey and all the trimmings. No, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> My car can't haul a 30-pound anything. <laughs> My cues are barely uh, almost too much. Uh, it's funny. All right. Paul's uh -oh. got to tie his shoe. Okay. And fix his pants a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> so, you know, since image is everything, we're just going to see how well Paul plays. Oh, yes. Not so. having his jam up shirt on. Yep. He just took a pretty big breath right there. Yep. See, and I, I like uh, Miguel's, Miguel's outfit shorts, shorts tank and a tank top, top, and flip flops. Just chilling. Here to have fun. Yeah. Dry break for Paul, and Miguel has a look at that one ball. Yep. <coughs> I hope you guys went to the bathroom and refreshed your drinks. I did not, but I have a waitress bringing me water. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to keep up with their uh, their ball position and ball play with how fast yeah, they shoot. Yeah, kind of it's, uh, you just let them do it. Yep. He's going to get really close to that three. Oh, now we got some, some fun. Now we got things. action. Action. If Steven wants to join in, there is another uh, headset over here. I said if Steven wanted to join in, there's another headset there. That, that might be interesting because uh, I believe Stevens played against both these guys, if not in this tournament, in other tournaments. like uh, having a little first first game jitters on this table. Maybe. Well, um, Paul has played on this table yesterday, but I don't think we had Miguel on at all yesterday. Yeah. I think we had him on some like close tables, <coughs> but never actually on the live stream, so. That was a nice. Nice stroke, came up a little too close though. Um, Ramil says bring him a puppy and he'll be happy. He really wants a puppy. He wants a puppy. He wants a puppy. Well, my, my actual puppies, uh, you can't have them, but <laughs> they, they could spend the night probably. Because I, I don't think I could get another, a third puppy to bring over if I brought my two no, with me. No, no, I think your two would be jealous. No, and I actually have someone, I got a hold of a friend here, and they're, she's going to watch my dogs for me while Excellent. I go over there. Uh-oh. All right. Well, this is, uh, well, it's going to give Paul another opportunity at this rack to yep. take the first win. Oh, yes. And I'm trying to figure out what shirt he is wearing right now. It says Anteaters on Ant Eaters. it. Anteaters. I have no what idea. What is that from? Who knows? I believe it's a movie reference, and I cannot think of it. Uh-oh, Ramil, Ramil's uh, wondering about the puppy. <laughs> but, 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 but. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> little Ramel. So, um, 
they they weren't entirely sure how to pronounce Ramil's name when he was playing in Lincoln City for oh. APA for the singles. Okay. So they kept saying Ramel. 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 <laughs> and his last name, God help them. They he had about fifteen different pronunciations <laughs> 15 of it. Different. And finally, towards the end of the day, uh, John Blue, the guy that calls most of the matches, he's like, Ramel Orgasm! Oh, jeez. <laughs> so that's what we started calling him. <laughs> oh, yeah, there, there's a few different people that, you know, you can mispronounce their names or give them funny nicknames. Well, it's, you know, it's funny. Um, I, have, I have had people pronounce my name Bonds. And boons, and I've even said, like out of, <laughs> bounds like out of, and yeah. they've still mispronounced it. So it's <laughs> just kind of weird. Oh, well, looks like we got another open table, and I might have to go take care of the board a little bit. But I'm not going to move because he's down and in on yeah, his break. Yeah, it could be kind of weird. Oh yeah. Even if it is just the break. Well, and it's I got the bright colors on my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he got a ball on the got break, and you can see maybe the edge of the one. And that three might be a nice uh, yeah. makeable ball for that oh. cut. Yep. Oh, I'm going to have to go tell that guy to move. <laughs> Oh, Paul will if he if he needs to. Okay. Oh, he decided to, he pushed it out. Oh, he's gonna push out. He didn't like the cut. Oh, he wanted to make that four ball. I think. Hmm. It's an interesting choice. That was a nice shot straight up the rail past that pocket like that. I struggle with those on these tables. Who won the first game? Uh, Paul got that okay, first Okay, that's what I thought. I uh, Remember he was breaking yes, and I didn't want to uh, move? Yes, that's right. <laughs> I had to I had to fix Miguel's last name because I, his last name was uh, capital M, capital O. Uh, so, Morphin. <laughs> And when I did that, it set it back to zero zero. So, um. <clears throat> and I was having a brain fart. Those are never good. Ramil says you can't bring a puppy that you will not leave with me. <laughs> oh, I have to leave a puppy with yeah. him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does a stuffed animal count, or does it have to be a living puppy? He probably wants a living puppy. Oh, he's been wanting a living puppy for a while. Ah. I I keep sending him links. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And he still hasn't gotten a dog, so. <laughs> Which, uh, uh, I actually, both of my dogs are rescues. Yeah. And they're pit bulls. And they they love me and I love them. Yeah. And they, the only time they don't love me is during pool tournaments. Yeah. Because I'm gone for so long. Yeah. And when I come home, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Your and dogs I, are very cute. Thank you. <laughs> and pit bulls have gotten such a bad rap. Oh, they have. They are the sweetest dogs. No such thing as a bad dog, just bad, bad dog owners. owners. Yes. And I was actually raised around many dogs. My parents yeah. and I, we had seven Alaskan Malamutes. Wow. We never went cold in the winter. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Boy, I didn't think that seven was going to go by that nine, it, it but I was sitting a little real, funny. It looked real tight, even yeah. from where I was sitting. And again, it's one of those, I don't want to move over right. and look at the angle. Right. And right. All right, so that puts Paul up uh, two to nothing over Miguel in a race to nine. This is, uh, this is an A-side match, right? No, this no, is actually a B-side B -side match. So B whoever match. doesn't win is going to be done. very upset. Well, whoops, wrong thing. 
So Dan Louie is up 2-1 to one over uh, Joe, Spence. Joe Spence. Harold Prine is up 8-6 over Carl Tibbetts. Wade Thompson is up 4-3 over Cole Gibbons. Uh-oh. <laughs> Paul's having a little troubles with the uh, the tablet right here. Uh-oh. I think he was trying to punch in a few extra games. Nice. <laughs> Just to speed things along, apparently. Well, you know, I'm all for that. <laughs> Just kidding. I really am just kidding. Oh, that break was sounded a little uh, thuddish. Didn't have that nice huh. crack to it. James Mason is up over uh, Jeff Leonard's eight to four. Oh wow! And I think we've talked about everything else. No, I actually think that one's over. Yeah, it looks like they might be over. I was just looking at the com uh, the match listing and score yeah. saloon. So A-side matches that have been established uh, for tomorrow is uh, Brady Golan versus Damian Pongpanic and Paul Pottier versus Mike Robinson. Those will be two very interesting matches. Yeah. Which I believe Brady and Damian have played over here a couple of times. Uh, we've had Damian <laughs> on twice, and we've had Brady on once, no, as far as I know. I'm talking oh, past over here. events. Yes, in past, past events. Past yeah. Labor Day yeah. events. They've, no. they've lined up against each other, and I think uh, Brady is up on him in the overall sets by one. <laughs> nice little uh, cross. Oh, oh, I thought he had man, that. that wow. Been. But I think that was, might have been a little bit of a two-way even. Yeah. Kind of worked out for Looks him. Looks like he jammed in behind that six and yeah, so Paul's gonna little, jump the six a little lift yeah. I mean with that one ball sitting right there it should go in unless he hits it too much to the to the right like Ooh, that yeah yeah now, that was the only place he couldn't hit that one ball. It's real tough on those long jumps like that. So I hate to do this, but I am going to step away for a minute and double check the board and make sure everything's uh, no worries. written in right. No worries, you're good. So, okay, I'll be back. <clears throat> Miguel draws that one ball over. He's going to take the two in the corner, float down for the three, uh, take the four up table. Actually, he might. Wow. He's making sure of what he wants to do here. The, f yeah, okay. I was I was looked up to see the four seven five combo and thought that's ah, not going to work. So. Um, he put some juice on that and got a little far on the the four ball, but he can still put that four in the, uh, let me back cut it. Oh, man, this is going to get more difficult for him. Yikes. He's going to try to mass A around that, spin into it, and uh, missed it. So that's going to give uh, <sighs> Paul ball in hand. He's already up two to nothing, is Paul. Um, so Miguel's going to have to start playing a little more under control. Um, you know, Miguel always plays fast. That's you know that's just the way he plays. Uh, but he sometimes gets a little more out of control than normal, and I think that's kind of where he ended up with that. Um, getting out of position so badly on that five ball. So uh, Paul missed the six. So Miguel's got a little bit of new life. Did I do it? Did I do it? Oh, need to Push up a little farther, a little farther, a little more, a little more. Am I in? There, yeah, there, there we go. go. Okay. Yeah. I just want to slam the yeah, volume you know. all the way up and sound loud and obnoxious. Kind of like me. Yeah, I'm no comment. Hey. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, 
All right. <sighs> Paul, if Paul just has two more balls, and then he's going to go up uh, three to nothing. Three to nothing. Wow. He's he needs to figure so, out this break, though. It seems like he's struggling with the break. Oh. So, so far, the lack of the styling jam-up shirt has not really affected Miguel. No. So far. Nicely done. Nice out. Yep, so Paul's up three to nothing. So we want to remind you guys that um, we are asking trivia questions periodically throughout the day today and tomorrow. And uh, what we're doing is we're collecting entries for an Ernie Amore custom queue. And here's a picture. Ooh. It is a purple heartwood with Gabon ebony. It's a full splice queue. There is no weight bolt in this queue. Uh, Ernie uses the weight of the wood to create the weight of the queue. That's so nice. they are much more center weighted than most queues are. Um, and uh, if you were watching Danny earlier today, Danny has a queue that's very similar uh, to this queue, uh, just not with the purple heartwood. It had the Gabon Ebony on it, but not the purple heartwood. So um, that is the story with the Ernie Amori queue. It's got a, uh, a low deflection shaft that Ernie uh, pretty much figured out um, on his own and uh, a G2 layer tip. Oh, nice. nice. So. That looks like the Paul scratched on his brake, but it had a little help from the one ball going into the pocket, which is never a good thing. No. Never a good thing. Oh, shoot. I should have. Sorry, guys. I should have changed camera angles there. I forgot where I was at. <laughs> You're in Spokane. <laughs> oh, crap. Spoke of Vegas. <laughs> First time I said that, Adrian was like, you can't say that. Why not? I've heard locals call it that. <laughs> <laughs> or there's the other one, Spoke Compton. Yep. Which we actually, uh, there's a, a bar over in Coeur d'Alene. The uh, shot that I drink, they yeah. call it a Spoke Compton that's, over there. That's awesome. It looks like Miguel's making easy work of this table, but he got a little straight on this six ball. Yeah, but I think he's okay. Yeah. He just has to play the yeah. rail here. Yep. He's uh, very good at that. And he'll just probably play this. Oh, he played that a way different than I thought he would. Oh yeah, that, that one he had a funny angle, so he yeah. had to come around and he, he yeah, almost- Nicely done. Oh. Yep. Only bad thing having your hand right there in that pocket. Trying to bridge with your hand in a side pocket. <sighs> yeah. Is very difficult. It's uncomfortable. And it's you, you uncomfortable. saw him, he slipped a little bit yeah. right there. Yeah. So. Yep, yep. All right, now it's Miguel's turn to start breaking. See how he breaks. Uh, Ramil says, how you playing in this tournament, Will, my newfound friend? <laughs> he what? says, then he says, you sound like a white dude, <laughs> Will. How do I sound in the chat room, LOL? <laughs> well, I'm going to say in the chat room, it's very uh, monotone, <laughs> very robotic. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my newfound friend, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for something like that. <laughs> oh. All right, so, so Miguel powers the break. Makes uh, one. Three, six, seven. Yeah, he made two balls. Got a little funny three ball trouble, though. Yeah. And he, that, that two uh, ball looks fairly straight from my angle. Yeah. Yep, so it was. Just, it yeah, was so he just played the stop shot to get the, uh, some angle on the yep. three. Nicely done. Get oh over yeah. for the four. That was really nice. Yep. All right, now he's got to. Oh, he just got to draw back. Yep. 
but for him, he's a little short guy, big table, you know, it's a bit of a stretch. Well, you know, it's amazing how little he has to use a bridge, even at oh. how short he is. Yeah. He's moving so fast, he can't grab the chalk. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> so when we were driving over here Friday, we stopped at um, that rest area just outside of uh, Cleellum. Oh, yeah. Right. Yep. And uh, lo and behold, here's Faith and Miguel <laughs> and their whole entourage, right? Yeah. And then we get here, and right after we pulled in, they, they pulled, pulled in. in. <laughs> That's funny. It was very funny. So we get out of the car, and I said, are you guys stalking us? <laughs> Not that I mind, because, you know, you're cute enough. I'll let you stalk me. Yeah, it was yeah. very funny. <laughs> so I've been calling uh, Faith my stalker all weekend. <laughs> so it's 3-2, Paul Marquez up over Miguel Morfin. Miguel Morfin has control of the table, because this is a winner break format. BCA rules... Um, uh, for the most part, got to uh, rack the two in the bottom of the rack. Nine ball breaks count only in the upper four pockets. He's been getting a lot of carom action off his balls. I notice he and Brady, Miguel and Brady, have been breaking the hardest. Yes. yes. And they have been making balls the most consistent. Oh, yes. So, a word to the wise if you have a <laughs> fan, if you're a fan of somebody who's going to be on this table in the not too distant future. All right, so two in the bottom corner on the right-hand part of the table as the camera turns. Uh, I think those guys over there might have disturbed Miguel. Yeah, yeah that sounds like J.D. Yeah, it sounds like we got uh, JD and Smiley over there probably yeah. talking some one pocket stuff. And yeah, and then they got Jeff and Damien in on it. They got a little bit loud. Yeah, so. yeah. JD's not a quiet guy. No, he's, uh -huh. he echoes a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it's that old friends reminiscing about past days yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah. It's kind of yep. tough. Absolutely. That's why I don't have any old friends. I don't want to reminisce. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just keep getting new friends? I do. You know, I recycle a lot. <laughs> Reduce, reuse, <laughs> recycle. recycle. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked myself up. Oh. Well, it right. looks like they calmed down a little bit over yeah. there, but... Still, Paul's kind of a little upset about that when Miguel was up shooting that it, it was disturbing him. Which yeah. People got to realize, hey, this is uh, not just a pool hall sometimes. <sighs> Everybody has to play through it, though, too. Might get a nice save. Yeah. But, you know, at the same time, be courteous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What would you want? A nice, quiet pool hall is what I'd want. <laughs> but that would never happen. You don't always get what you want. Is he going to get the seven? Oh. oh, almost. Almost got a lucky rub on that. But uh, Miguel's got a back cut on the uh, three. He's going to have to come one, two, maybe three rails down for the four. Oh, okay. Three rails. Actually, you did, yeah. Sorry about so, that. Sorry. I had somebody wondering what time uh, we were going to be done tonight, and it's like, well, I honestly don't know because I still have uh, six matches that need to be played. Sometimes they go quick. Sometimes, sometimes they, they don't. don't. <laughs> sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> oh, Paul's laughing a little bit. He's like, oh, it's a little Mighty Mouse.
So I wonder how long have these two known each other? Paul and Miguel? I have no idea. Yeah. Paul's been around for a while. Looks like Paul gave it up to Miguel, so that ties us up at three. <laughs> See, Miguel's going so fast, he's just putting the balls on the other side of the table. <laughs> want to remind you guys that this free stream is brought to you by rail to rail productions you should like us on facebook follow us on twitter also subscribe to our youtube channel so you get alerts because the world needs more alerts alert um and uh that way you know when we're live when we're playing trivia when you can have your best opportunity to get those uh entries in for the ernie amori custom queue miguel breaks Again, makes a ball, but the cue ball got kicked a little bit there. Uh, he can, <coughs> excuse me, he can at least see the one ball. Yeah, made the seven. and Might even be able to cut that one on the side. Nope, he's going to oh, play for the safe. Yep. It's, it's interesting how quick he gets up there, plays that safe, goes and sits down. I, I'm sitting there. If I'm going to play a safe, you know, I'm mapping out where do I want to put that. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if I'm playing someone like Paul. I don't just get up there. Oh, I'm going to play the safe right like that. Yeah. Some people process information very fast, and I think Miguel has spent enough time around a pool table that he he processes wow. pretty quickly. Paul got a little lucky there, yeah, I think. Yeah. He's laughing. <laughs> he knows He's it. He's laughing. Knows it. Yeah, he almost scratched there. Playing it off the eight. Oh, oh, man. That was the shot, too. Yeah, that was a great shot. That was a great try. Yeah. Wow. Man. The so close, yet yeah, so far. That's the thing with a tight pocket like that. You got to make sure you hit just in the right spot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where's that cue ball going? Ooh. Scratched in the side. Um, Cliff Max, Miguel does play on big tables a lot. Uh, he plays a lot of one pocket down at the Golden Fleece in uh, Seattle, and uh, that's usually played on the nine footers. Um, he plays here almost every year. Yep, he's he, played he's, here. Um, he's actually even uh, come over to the seventh rail a couple times. Yeah. But those aren't big tables. It's just being in Spokane is awesome to have him over here to get, play against him. <laughs> yeah. He's a good guy. Uh, and Ramil's thinking that exclamation points and emoticons make it so you cannot sound monotonous in the chat room. It just sounds like yelling in my head then. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't like yelling. No. Even when it's the voices in my head. <laughs> no. Uh, Mary He's playing the combo for the Oh. oh. Man. Uh Marion yep. Poole asked me one time to, um, you know, when she gets the voices going in her head, she'll usually ask Adrienne to tap her forehead to uh, set out the voices, right? Yeah, and yeah. so she came up to me one day and she says, would you tell the voices in my head to stop? And she's <laughs> tapping her forehead, so I flicked Flick. her. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> she, yeah, that's exact. Ow! She has oh, never wow. again asked me to uh, <laughs> still the voices in her head because yep. it hurt too much. Yeah. All right, so Paul's missed a couple of shots. Miguel uh, looks like I'm going to have to go. The, the I'm going to have to okay, go. Okay, you go. Yep. You go. All right, we got some uh, spectators just kind of walking through things here. Did you have a tablet over on table six? Is it still there? Or did those folks just walk off with it? Oh, is that one? Okay, I just wanna make sure.
Well, you see, Ramil, the reason I spilled the beans with Will is I like Will, you know? I mean, I wouldn't do that to Will. He's just, he's our Sherpa over here. So. Can't, you, you can't damage the help. They don't like that. All right, so some matches, some scores that we've got here. We've got uh, Joe Spence is up over Dan Louie, four to three. Wade Thompson is up over Cole Gibbons, seven to four. Obviously, we're tied at three here. And Carl Tibbetts and Harold P Prine are uh, Hill Hill. And uh, Paul got that game, so Paul is now up four to three over Miguel Morphin. This is a uh, race to nine. Right, Disaster I'm averted. Uh, kind of. We were uh, had the people walk in front of the table, and uh, our tournament director was missing because he's hiding in our little alcove a yeah. little more than normal. Uh-oh. <laughs> like uh, Sharon went back there and didn't see him sitting behind a chair. <laughs> Not sitting on the chair, but behind the chair nice. so that nobody knows he's back there. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Yes. Yes. I wish I could do that. Well, Ramil, Marion's not our Sherpa, so, you know, it doesn't matter if I hurt Marion. Because, you know, I wouldn't hurt the help. <laughs> oh, looks like Harold and Carl are done. Yeah, they were Hill Hill. I'm not sure who won it. Because they well, didn't. I'm going to. They haven't declared a winner yet. At least not in Score Saloon. No. Harold smiling and kind of hard to tell with Carl sometimes. He has pretty much the same facial expression all the time. For everything. Yeah. All his facial expressions. I did get him to laugh once because did I you? told him. Yes, I told him. I said, you know, whenever I see you, I think of that really old far Farsight commercial or cartoon where it's, it's co entitled Cockroach Dreams. Okay. And the dream is this shoe is about to crush the cockroach. Okay. And the shoe is saying, I want you, Carl. <laughs> 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 Actually oh. made him laugh. <laughs> That's funny. I know. <laughs> oh, and just fires that <clears throat> bank in. Yep. And gets shape. Yep. Yeah, don't die on us. Don't oh, I, die just, on I us. have a little tickle now. <coughs> yep, getting a little, a little exhausted. Should have Damien come over. Ah, Damien has done his time today. Oh, did he? Uh, oh, he missed oh, it. It man, rolled he out. Had, it well, rolled. he hit the. I think he hit the point. Ah. Uh, yeah, he hit the point points. of that pocket there, and so that puts Paul up five, five to, three. to three. Wow. <laughs> for Meal says everybody likes Will, which is a problem for him because he can't get out of the friendship zone. <laughs> I'm not even going to laugh at that right now because of how true that is. Oh, <clears throat> all I'm going to say is I feel your pain. It's terrible. <laughs> it is, right? But at the same time, you know what? Less stress. Yeah. No drama. Yeah. <laughs> Get to come and shoot pool tournaments all the time. It's just affording to you shoot. You never want to spend time with me. You're always in the <laughs> big pool home. Yep. Yeah. 
Don't have to listen to any of that crap. Nope. Sometimes I don't know how he throws his shoulder into it like that. That feels like it, or looks like it would hurt. <laughs> you know, the, the thing about Paul is uh, <clears throat> he used to be a uh, martial artist. Okay, okay. And he still does some of that discipline, um, you know, exercise and okay, stuff. So okay. I think Paul keeps himself in pretty good shape. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> so. the, the one break I still am in awe about, and a lot of people... They'll probably disagree with me because it's K2. Her break. Oh, yeah. It is, I mean, just yep. watching it. And we even use that Predator Speed app. Mm -hmm. And I remember that. It wouldn't register properly because she breaks with a soft tip, so it wasn't hearing the sound off the tip contact to the cue right, ball. Right, right. So it said that she was breaking at 67 miles an hour. <laughs> I don't think that's no. physically possible, but at the same time, it was moving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. All right. He's a little funny here. You have to go? Um, I might have to go for one quick second. Okay. Harold and Carl did not declare a winner in Score Saloon. It still shows at 8-8, eight, eight, but they're done. I don't know who won. <coughs> Harold won? at the table. Yeah. No, it's Miguel. They're both short. I couldn't see them. <laughs> so Miguel is going to get the eight in the side and he's going to get a bump off the nine. Not exactly what he planned on, but he's going to live with it. And he's going to point out the nine. Wow. That's uh, like three racks in a row that Miguel has given up to uh, to Paul without Paul really doing a whole lot of work. So, um, yeah, Miguel's got to get himself under control here a little bit. He's a, a little bit... Um, He's frustrated, clearly, because he's not hitting shots that he normally would consider uh, easy shots for him. Uh, but he can't, he can't let, that, let that get to him. He's got to, you know, he's still in this, you know, because Paul hasn't been running away with it. The only reason Paul is up 6-3 to three is because Miguel's given him the last three racks. He's making late, late mistakes in the racks. So, you know, um... <coughs> So if Miguel can kind of get himself under control, um, you know, it would be a little bit better. Um, How you doing?
Oh, please. Did I just hear what I think? <laughs> oh, I you heard? totally oh, heard what you just like, thought. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yep, Sharon, I remember her saying that. And I'm sitting there thinking, Phyllis is here. Maybe it's Phyllis is the east side of could the be, state. Could be. You're the west side of the state. That's the only way she can get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Wes is shaking his head. <laughs> oh, <that's funny. laughs> Oh, nice there you go. He gets, he, Miguel finally got a nine ball. All right. All right. So six to four. Hey, uh, what's the uh, score over there for uh, Wade and Cole? Well, um, let's let's take a look here real quick. Because this one over here isn't updating. Um, my screen has eight to five, Wade. And uh, Joe Spence up five to four. That's what I got. Yeah, I think the uh, connection on this laptop over here is not connected because oh. it's got Mike Robinson and John Doherty on. Oh there still. yeah, it might have disconnected from yeah. the Black Diamond one and connected to the Xfinity one that doesn't really have an internet. Ah, uh, so yeah. All right, <coughs> Miguel breaks. He uh, he shortened his break up a little bit. A little there. bit. Yeah, he Two, pulled four, some six, off. Seven, eight. Hoping to get you know a little more control on that cue ball. Yeah, he um, switch angles here real quick. Oh, he's going. Oh, he was going, he was for, going for that one nine. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, it looks like uh, one of our friendly Canadians here brought us a, a drink. He did. Oh. I don't like American shots. <laughs> too big. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, That'll put hair on your chest. Oh, yes. And did you hear his comment? Uh-uh. He doesn't like American shots because they're too big. I, I've heard that from, from them before. See, the beer is weaker, but the shots are bigger. Ah. <coughs> and the funny thing is, uh, here they're actually measuring them out correctly. Ah. There's a few places around town that you go there, you order a shot, and it's filled up to the lips Ooh. on a glass. Yeah. I don't know where she went. Ooh, ooh, okay. Cue ball's floating. Whoa. He almost scratched there, but he still has a back cut on the four. Yep, back cut. His speed is going to be the key here, because if, he if he lets that cue ball go too much, he could scratch. He just kind of needs to let it roll yep. on this table yep. and just hope that it rolls right in and yep. have a, five yeah, that's nice. a long five ball. I would not even try to mess with the five nine. Just make nope. the just make the five just roll up for the six. Just play out. the out. Yep. 
it's interesting to see how many players in this tournament that would try and go for that instead of going for the easier yeah. out. Yeah. Well, you know, Mike, honestly, when he was playing JD and JD yeah. got up, you know, like 4 nothing on him or yeah. something like that, he started taking a little more risky swings yeah. at the nine ball. And Going it was for that. Yeah, it was costing him a little bit. Low percentage shot, hoping to get that quick win to... Yep, yep, and then JD just kind of went cold. Oh, man. He, he kind of sort of popped up just a tad on that. He did, he did. But... He, he knows it, too. He's got yeah. that look on his face yeah. like, man. Well, you know, the other thing is Paul knows that with Miguel, you just, you know, no lead is safe with Miguel. Yeah. Just like no lead is safe with Paul either. Oh, and Miguel you know. missed. So it, it's, um, you know, you can't, you, you can't just assume that they're going to beat you because yep. it's not always that way. Oh, Wow. Look at this speed. Ooh. Look at this speed. The speed and the wrong angle. Even Paul's looking at it going, what just happened? Wow. So this is what, uh, you know, dang it. Well, maybe not. Hang on. It, it looks like a frozen ball, so yeah. he might just cut this. Yep. Yeah, nicely done. All right, so that puts Paul up 7-4 to four in a race to 9. Again, yep. guys, this is our last match of the night that we're streaming. Uh, do we know what time we're going to start tomorrow? Uh, we're going to be doors open at 9, starting at 10. Okay. And uh, I do know who we are going to have on the stream table, if you'd like to know. Yeah. We're going to put Paul Pottier. Okay. And uh, Mike Robinson on this table. Oh, fun. So Ooh, that cool. Two Canadians. Yes. Going to yeah. be a Canadian duel. Nice. Are we going to have the Canadian National Anthem before they start? We should make them sing it. Uh, yeah, they would have to sing it because I don't know it. All I know is, oh, Canada. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> That's twice we've done that. Oh, okay. I'm God, gonna, we're scary. I'm going to try and uh, tell these guys next to us to keep it down a little bit because Paul's getting a little distracted. All right. The guys are not the shooting table. but Oh, yeah. Okay. Spectators. All right. right. All right, so <clears throat> function here. And that's a nice little carom by Miguel to get a win. It's seven to five. <clears throat> just like that. See, you guys, you can't look away. You just can't look away with these guys. <sighs> I'm glad I ate something before that shot. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I had to do a little mediating because they, yeah. I could see it was distracting the shooters a little bit, and that's never a good thing because I want to see a good, solid match. Yeah. Even though it's late at night, you, you want these guys still shooting top game yep. because they're, they're on the B side. And, you know, people don't realize how loud they get sometimes. Yes, yes. You know, I, I struggled with that when I first started uh, being at a lot of pool tournaments. Yeah. Because, you know, I have a, my voice carries pretty easily. Yeah. And uh, I didn't really understand all of the etiquette. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I, I got in trouble a lot. I, I was the uh, quiet one because mm. I, I was very shy until the shots started flowing. <laughs> and then everybody's like, Will, could you please be quiet? Why? I'm shooting my match. <laughs> I, I, I'm allowed to be loud when I shoot my match and, you know, make that ball that was tough and get all excited, right? No. Can't I do that? Yeah. No. Oh, there's a match right next to me. Yeah. Dang it. I forgot yeah. about that. That was a nice cut because that, that six was very looked nice. very close. Yeah, it looked very, very close. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I think he's all right. He didn't want to bump that because now he's got to come below it. Oh, 
unless he can get straight on it. See, he oh, was he was trying he was trying, right he was, on top he was of trying it. to yep. come below it yep. so that he, he trying, could play you know, it in that yep. side. So now, now he's, he's forced to play a safe and leave Paul either a, a bank or a cut. Yeah, and if and if Paul can execute this here, he would get himself on the hill. Yeah. It's like Miguel just can't get over the hump today. And he's going for a cross bank. And he got it. And wow. he got it. That was a great shot by Paul. So I think it's, yeah, exactly. That was really that was nice a nice shot. That was a very nice. So I think it's safe to say that his fashion has not affected. Has not is is okay. It's the power yeah. of yeah. the glove. It must be. It must be the glove because that's the common denominator. Yes. Other than the man himself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <coughs> Which you know, speaking of pool players wearing gloves, mm -hmm. I started wearing one. Yeah. First time I went down to Vegas, my hand got sweaty. I was like, I need a glove because yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah. So, got a you know a decent glove, and started shooting with it before I went down yeah. and now all I do is play with a glove even yeah. though I'm in Spokane yeah. and people are like why are you doing that because it helps. I'm not dealing with yeah. I was uh, I was playing league a few weeks ago it was really hot in the bar the air conditioning had gone out it was a hot day it was a lot of bodies right yeah, yeah. and I was down on the nine ball or down on the eight ball yeah and I just I couldn't get comfortable I couldn't get my hands dry right so I'm still trying to figure out how I can bridge to get yeah. you know because yeah. I don't do gloves or anything like that okay and so it's like my cue is going <laughs> <laughs> along my fingers you know yeah. and it's like oh yeah. my god and I, t I totally missed the not the eight ball and so when I was down in Vegas, um, a friend of mine gave me, it's um, it's not individual wraps, but it's just this little thing that fits over your your thumb, the, index yeah. finger, and ring finger, yeah. and uh, or middle finger. Middle and finger. It, yeah, uh, yeah I, I like it. I play with it even if I don't feel like my hands are too hot because it, just, it oh really yeah. does make a difference. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't look as dorky as a glove. Hey now, but I'm hey just now, kidding. hey now. I'm just kidding. He well, was, he, Miguel wanted to run into that too to pop did. it off the rail. He now he's going to have to play the two seven. Yep. But it'll go. But at the same time, it should be yeah. automatic and yeah. came out, and now he's got a shot in the side. It looks like. Yeah. Good shape on the four. Yep. Should go. Oh, he's straight and he's worried. Yeah. He shouldn't be worried. I originally thought he had a little more angle than that, so he's going well, he to try to. Oh, he's going to try and. Well, he's deciding to either draw or. Because if he draws, he's got an easier shot in the side. Yeah. If he plays forward, he's got a he's longer gonna, shot. Yeah, he's just going to do center ball. Yep. I like that. He's been struggling a little bit. Center ball's a little easier to deal with than. Oh, yeah, you're, you're you know. keeping it simple. Yep. Mike. Mike Robinson. Yeah. I had, it, I had a little Miguel bit. got a little a funny little here. Shot. A little shot. It, it wasn't oh, a double this time. Oh, man. Miguel. <sighs> Miguel. Wow. Man. Wow. That was a tough break. He yep. had a good hit, and it just fired right into that. Just, gosh. That's a tough break for Miguel. Yeah. But that uh, gives Paul Marquez the win.